Uh, welcome back to part two of uh, graphing for quadratic functions. Uh, this is going to be talking more about the vocabulary and understanding how the parabola is moving from the parent uh, uh, function. So whenever you're looking at these, be aware that because it's not y equals x squared, that this is no longer a parent. This is a parabola that has made some changes. And it's either moving up or down, and it's, or it's moving left or right. So these are the key vocabulary words and phrases that you're going to be using. And the uh, parabola with the equation that's set up like this one, where it's the function of x equals a times x minus h uh, squared plus k. Remember that the vertex is at h and k. So this h, because it is minus h, if h is a positive number, then it would be just x minus, say, 2. But if it was x plus 2, um, then it would be x minus the negative of h. Okay, so be very careful when you see those. If... Um, the horizontal translation, um, horizontal is side to side, so we're talking about the shift from the origin. So if h is greater than 0, it's going to shift to the right, and if it is less than 0, it's going to shift to the left. And that makes sense because h is your x in your ordered pair. Vertical translation is the movement up and down, so if it moves up from the parent uh, it is k is greater than zero, and if it's shifting down, it's k is less than zero. Uh, when it talks about stretches and compression, a stretch is if it is wide, so if it's really wide, and a compression is narrow. Um, so a stretch is if a is greater than one, then it's going to open up, and it's also going to be stretched out. Um, if the compression, or if a is between 0 and 1, so like if it is um, like 1 half, that is between 0 and 1, so it's going to open up and it's going to be narrow. The reflection, um, if a is less than, so if a is a negative number, the parabola opens down and it's reflected over the x-axis. So um, if it has a negative a, it is going to be a downward parabola. The axis of symmetry, um, that is the line that divides the parabola directly in half. And as we noticed from working in part one, that whatever our x value was, or what our h was, that was where we found our line of symmetry. Maximum value, if the... Uh, Maximum value occurs when you have a downward opening uh, parabola, and um, the maximum is this very tip where it changes directions. Minimum, that always happens when you have an open op upward opening parabola, and it is at the bottom of the uh, parabola. Okay? All right, so let's start... Uh, kind of just looking at the equation and being able to pick that information out. So we know that the function of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And in our equation that they're giving us, the function of x is 3 times x plus 8 squared minus 10. And so what I like to do is I like to write above them what they are. And just like that. Because it's plus 8 and it's minus h, I know that if I subtract a negative 8, that's the same as adding 8. So h is going to give me negative 8. <coughs> because k is being added and this is minus, if I change it to add the opposite, I know that k is negative 10. Once I know this, I know that my vertex is going to be at negative 8, negative 10. Um, my stretch 
I'm looking at my a, and my a is 3. It's positive, it's greater, so that I know that it's going to be opening up, so it opens up. And it is stretched. And you'll notice I have this off to the side where you can take and look at um, the graph that we used before. Okay, so um, the next part is talking about the axis of symmetry. Remember the axis of symmetry is where um, x is what h is, and we said that h is negative 8. And our maximum or minimum value we have to determine is it opening up or is it opening down. And if a is less than 0, it uh, has a maximum. A is not less than zero, so it is not a maximum value. It has a minimum value, um, and it's at K, which is at negative 10. All of this we got from up here. Let's talk about the horizontal and vertical translation. Remember, if H is greater than zero, and H is negative eight, so it's actually less than zero, because it's less than zero, it shifts left. So it's going to translate left. Vertical, uh, k is negative 10. So since k is less than zero, it's going to shift down. All this information came from this equation. We didn't have to draw the parabola or anything. We were able to just see what we need to from here. Let's take a look at number two. Our a is 1 half, our h is 5, and our k is 7. So h is 5, k is 7, and a is 1 half. All right, so our vertex is at h, k, so it is at 5, 7. a is 1 half. Horizontal translation, that's our h. Um, is it greater than zero or is it less than zero? Well, it's greater than zero, so it's going to shift right. And our vertical, that's our K. And seven is greater than zero, so it is shifting up. One half is between uh, zero and one, so it is opening up but it's compressed. The axis of symmetry, remember x is 5, so it's going to be at 5. The minimum or maximum, uh, because we know that it is opening, uh, it is opening up, a is greater than 0, it is greater than 0, and so um, k is its vertex. So uh, it is um, at 7. I was looking at the wrong one. So there is no maximum value. It has a minimum value of 7. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Uh, describe using complete sentences how the graph of each function is transformed from the graph of the function. The function of x is x squared. This include whether it opens up or down, is wide, narrow, moves left or right, or moves up and down. Okay, so remembering all the different parts, um, we have a vertex. It is at h and k, h is 4, k, there's nothing there, so it's going to be at 4, 0. Um, they want to know, is it transformed, uh, opening up and down, wide or narrow, uh, moves left or right, or moves up and down. So take a look at it and determine, is a greater than or less than 0, is h less than or greater than zero, and k less than or greater than zero. So by looking at the information that comes just from our equation, I was able to determine the vertex is at four zero, 
that the axis of symmetry is where x is 4. The parabola is opening up and it is wide because uh, 2 is greater than 0. And it has a shift to the right with a minimum uh, at 0. Take a look at the second one and see if you can determine um, the information about uh, the different placement for A, H, and K. You can see from here that the vertex is at 2 and 9, uh, has an axis of symmetry at 2. The parabola reflects over the x axis because it is a less than 0 for your A. The H is uh, greater than zero. Uh, greater than zero so it shifts right um, the k is greater than zero so it sh uh, shifts up and it because it reflects it is an upside down parabola and therefore it has a maximum of nine if you have any questions about these please make sure you're checking in with your teacher thank you